We are going on hour 18 in the case of a woman who went for a run early this morning and never returned. Thank you for being here. I'm Carrie Sharp. Rory is off tonight. A statewide search is happening right now for Eliza Fletcher. The 34 year old mother of two was out running near the University of Memphis this morning around 430 when investigators say she was abducted. News Channel 5's Araceli Crescencio has more on the search. Multiple agencies are now involved in as well as ways to stay safe. Yeah, the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation and the FBI are now working together to find 34 year old Eliza Fletcher. She was out running at around 4 a.m. when she was forced into an SUV and kidnapped. Police say this is the car believed to be involved. It's a dark colored SUV. It's not clear what direction the driver went. Fletcher was wearing a pink shirt and purple shorts at the time of her abduction. With each passing hour, law enforcement's job becomes more difficult, which is why friends are urging anyone who might know something to speak speak up where everybody's desperately looking for her and and the police are here on it and uh, you can see there's a lot of activity so we're just if you know anything or saw anything early this morning we're just asking for you to come forward this high profile case has many people thinking about their running routine and ways to reduce their risk experts say it all starts with being aware of your surroundings and making sure you're not an easy target there are countless safety risks that exist when running alone, but experts say avoiding danger starts with situational awareness. So as you're looking around and you see somebody approaching you, at 21 feet out, you need to already start to think, do I need to run, hide, or fight? Many times people don't react quickly when confronted with danger because they've never thought about facing it. But a lot of times we just look at TV and we don't stop to pause. So our brain never makes that connection to what would I do? Pat Thurmond, a self-defense expert, says people need to have a safety plan on hand. Make sure you have some kind of self-defense tool with you. So, you know, pepper spray is a good one for distance. In the case of an attempted kidnap, she says the best chance of surviving is to do all you can to avoid leaving the spot you're in. But if you find yourself in that situation, preparation is key. Always carry something that is hidden. So even if you can't get away and you end up at that secondary location, you have a hidden weapon on you. Thurman says the stun gun is helpful. The, the sound itself is a deterrent. So when you hit that, you go, stay back. Leave me alone. But it's also a weapon. And then if you have to, if they continue to come, that's when you touch them with this. In Nashville, Araceli Crescencio, News Channel 5. Thurman has a 30 minute video posted on her website where you can learn and practice these safety tips. We will link you there in this story at newschannel5.com.